my lovelies, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? I hope that you are having a lovely day and you're good to go for our video, which I'm really excited about. Uh, if this is your first time at my channel, my name's Chloe. I'm otherwise known as Lady Rights and I'm thrilled that you're joining me for this video today. If you are one of those new people though, please can I ask before we go any further, you click subscribe and then ring the bell. By ringing the bell, that means that my next beauty video will land in your inbox as soon as it goes live so you won't miss a single upload. In today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit special. Now, it's very topical. We're talking about like eco-friendly beauty products and things that are easy to switch into your routine um, just to make sure that you're trying to get a little bit greener, a little bit more eco-friendly with your beauty regime as a whole. And there are so many ways that you can do this and there are so many degrees of how far you can go with it. To be honest, like I think we should all be making subtle changes at the very least. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I switch out everything and I only use all natural products because I don't. You guys watch my channel, you know the products that I use and that I love, you know the brands and things like that that I love. However, I do switch out as much as I can, where I can, where works for me and where possible to make sure that I am doing just my little bit for the planet because if we're all doing a little bit, it actually adds up to make huge change. So I thought it'd be really fun to show you the changes that I've made in my regime that have been super quick and super easy. So it should be really easy for you guys to do as well. If you're like, like I was a couple of years ago when I was like, oh, you know, I like all of these brands that don't do natural products and like, how do I do this? There's actually so many ways you can add some green beauty elements into your life, switch out some old products for more eco-friendly versions to just kind of do your bit. I think you'll be surprised at how many simple and small changes you can make today just to make a really big impact. Look after our planet, look after our skin, you know, just switch things out just to kind of show some effort. So the first change I made was to switch to wild for my deodorant now this is how wild gets delivered that box comes through your door so like it comes through your post box it's really quick and easy obviously the box is fully recyclable but for me I was looking for a deodorant because obviously I use deodorant every day especially now I'm going to the gym as often as I possibly can I needed something that basically gave me high performance power like I needed a good quality deodorant I just you know nobody likes to smell bad um, and I actually found out about wild because they are paraben free they are also aluminium free so they are really really good for your underarms which we all know it's a really sensitive area anyway. But as well as that, their packaging is compostable, it's recyclable, they tick every green eco-friendly box that I could possibly find. And there's so many customizational options that I love about Wild, which is why I've been using them. So you can get your canister, which comes to you like this. There are six colors available. Um, you can also get it engraved with your name like I have, which I think makes it a really cute gift. There are then seven scents of the actual deodorant pods for you to pick from. Now, my favorite, it's the quick and easy one. It smells so good. It's fresh cotton and sea salt. They all say on the back what fragrance they are. It smells like clean linen. If you've ever had like a clean linen type candle that's what it smells like it's absolutely beautiful and obviously this packaging here is 100% compostable which is great it's so easy to refill and what I love about the wild system is it's like a subscription so you kind of you can get the refill sent to you as and when you need them you can slow your subscription change the date when you get it so literally everything fits around you it all comes through you through your door so there's like no unnecessary packaging and obviously vegan friendly Everything's compostable, recyclable, works well at protecting the planet. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to use the wild refill system. You take the lid off and then you squeeze the two buttons at the side and pull the top section off. Now it's also useful to remember all of the actual deodorant refills are, there's lots of essential oils in there, there's no parabens, no sulfates, nothing that blocks the pores. So your skin is gonna love it. You then sit your refill on the top add your thing, your overlay. Obviously you can pop your lid on. The idea is then that you twist and you see that the, the deodorant pops out. Okay, now, so I just wanna give you a rundown of the other scents, because obviously I've got fresh cotton and sea salt. They're the ones that I've been using. And um, there's also jasmine and mandarin blossom. Love jasmine, it's got that kind of sultriness. Lavender haze, that's gonna be really relaxing. Coconut dreams, 
orange zest, lemon meringue, that's limited edition, that smells absolutely, sounds amazing, and mint and eucalyptus. I'm pretty sure in my next order, I'm gonna order one of each of those just so I can get more of scent variation, but lovely scents, all very fresh, I think you'll agree, so highly recommend checking out Wild. Um, I will also say if you use code LW20 at the checkout with Wild, they have kindly given all of my followers and subscribers here on YouTube 20% off your first order, which is pretty epic. Um, I don't think people realize how damaging an actual deodorant pod or spray can be to both yourself and the planet, so definitely worth switching out. Okay, soap, the next thing that I can highly recommend switching out. Wild also do soaps that you can get delivered, again, through the door, you can recycle this packaging. They're their soaps smell beautiful. There's three scents available. You've got lavender haze, jasmine and mandarin blossom, orange zest. My favourite is jasmine and mandarin blossom. I've been using this one. Oh my gosh, it just smells amazing. I honestly don't think I've ever smelt soap that smells so beautiful. Obviously, you can really pick up those essential oils in the fragrance there. It's very, very gentle on the skin. You can add it to your order with the deodorant refills or you can buy them on your own. They work out five pounds each. So definitely great for a gift if that is what you're looking for or super easy to add onto your order with your deodorant. Again, you can kind of just have them shipped as and when you need them or buy as a gift. But soap, we're all washing our hands so much more these days. It's really important that we're keeping our hands clean um, without drying them out. Obviously the ingredients in here are all about sustaining skin, keeping skin soft and looking after it. So I highly recommend checking out the soaps from Wild as well. Again, the LW20 discount code will work on the soaps as well as the deodorant refills. So make sure you use it at the checkout to save yourself 20%. Okay, next up, super different here. Now, a little bit of a different one in terms of this is the um, Aquis Prime. This is the rapid dry hair turban. Now I've used a hair turban like this before. Aquis, the best. I think I said that right. Let me show you what this is. Okay, so the idea behind this is you pop it on like a hair towel. So the button goes at the front right here and then you put your hair in the back, twist it up to make a turban and then hook over the top. I'm trying to show you here. Put the button through the loop and it will keep your hair really, really dry, out of the way. I hate wet hair dripping down my back when I get out of the shower. It's just a pet hate of mine. I'm really not a fan, um, but these are lovely. What they do is they absorb the moisture. Now, I, you may not know that actually like when you're towel drying your hair, you can get a lot of breakage. Obviously having hair that's too wet and then going straight into drying, it can damage it. So for me, this is more about like, saving my drying time because this absorbs so much of the moisture I've really noticed that actually it takes less time to dry my hair um, which is definitely a good thing obviously using less electricity with my hair dryer but also looking after my hair a little bit better as well less breakage making sure that it's out of the way it's not getting caught it's not getting snagged it's not I'm not kind of rushing to dry it because it's just dripping down my back and towels I found just wrapping a towel around my head as we all do girls, I'm sure you're, and guys, I'm sure you're the same. It just doesn't work the same as these. These are really, really good. I've used one for three years now. I've had different versions. Now this is the towel one. They do do a waffle version as well. These are the ones I recommend. I had one in a beauty box. It worked for a while, it was nice top level. If you're going to go for a hair turban, make sure it's from this brand. I will link below if you want to pick it up. Um, but yeah, I just love these. Would never be without one now. Even when I go and stay at my mum's, I take it with me. I literally would never be without this. My hair would just just hate me for it. So highly recommend switching out on that. You'll save your electricity with drying your hair. Also, like if you just want to take the wetness off and then let it like dry naturally afterwards, this will just really take that top level of moisture out. So it's not going to drip and your hair could just dry nicely afterwards as well. Another really easy thing to switch out is your hairbrush. How many of you, like me, have plastic handled hairbrushes and combs right now? Like I've still got some in my drawer. Um, these are the Kemp brushes. Very easy to switch out. Again, just you make a purchase and a hairbrush lasts a long time if you look after it. I have the soft bristle, bristled, bristled brush here. This is the one I use on my children, really quick and easy for their hair. And then, then this is the paddle brush that I use. Now what I love about these brushes is that they are made from FSC certified natural wood, which supports the responsible management of the world's forests. The idea then behind that is that these brushes are going to A, last you a lot longer. They're not plastic. So when you do run out, obviously you can dispose of them in such a way, I guess you could maybe burn them um, or you could recycle them or whatever, but basically they're not plastic which we really like. I'm also gonna say the paddle brush is great if you get knotty hair. Now I tend to find that my hair knots from the mid lengths to the ends. This is fantastic at denotifying. I also love when I curl my hair, this paddle brush, because the bristle, bristles are like spaced so far apart, it's perfect for making my like tight curls more of a wave, which is my personal look. So I really, really love that. It's not just about being sustainable here. They also know how to get you the right sort of style. The soft version is perfect for children. It's got a mixture of harder bristles, 
um, bristles should I say, as well as the softer version perfect size for my children's hair I have boys so the hair isn't long so I just find a couple of like sweeps through this does everything that I need it to do but really quick and easy way you may not have thought about your plastic hairbrush now you can switch them out for wood versions much better for the planet okay another one for me I don't use cotton wool anymore I use uh cleansing pads or face cloths which I know like I feel like I used to stay at my nan's and she'd be like use a face cloth and I used to just hate flannels but now I don't feel that way um I don't use cotton wool I haven't done for quite a while I use like cleansing kits like this this is the so eco cleansing kit it's a bamboo facial cleansing kit it comes in a bag that is great for washing you just pop them back in here once you've used them put them tie the top the toggle around the top pop them in the washing machine with your normal washing I don't wash them separately it's fantastic um in the cleansing kit you get two washcloths they are just simple squared cloths and you also get two which look very much like cotton pads now I tend to use these for my eye makeup and then use these for the rest of my face now these ones are brand new I do already have a pack of these I've also used so many other brands in fact I have so many now I have a whole basket in my bathroom um I just I just don't use cotton wool I just wouldn't buy it now for anything like literally even taking off nail polish I will use something like this and then wash them afterwards it's again really quick and easy you don't have to buy cotton wool which takes ages to biodegrade it's really difficult to get rid of and you can actually just keep reusing and washing these naturally sometimes they will like stain but for the most part like I mine come up looking like new every time so I love that really quick and easy these are super affordable too like I said once they're used pop them back in the bag and wash them with your normal laundry so it's quick and easy you can also buy if you don't want the set where you get both the cotton like the cotton alternatives as well as the cleansing cloths you can just get three of the bamboo facial cleansing cloths in there as well so you can kind of go in either or with those depending on what your preference is another so eco easy one to switch out makeup brushes makeup sponges things like that this is the so eco um, complexion sponge duo the packaging is completely recyclable obviously sponges um, last really really long you could pop them in the washcloth as well um, a lot of my brushes are plastic tipped I'm not gonna lie like I love them so I'm trying to switch out what I can to make changes where I can and I'm not as precious about my sponges as I am about my brushes basically as long as a sponge works for me then I'm going to be all on board with it and I just really love the fact that with the so eco it says their packaging is made from materials that are ethically sourced compostable recyclable and biodegradable which is really really handy so quick easy and budget friendly as well okay on to cosmetics whole new ball game there are so many products out there that are cosmetic based that you know makeup brands are cottoning onto the fact that they need to be doing more to provide eco-friendly products packaging needs to be recyclable they know that they need to be doing more and there's been an emergence of new brands as well as kind of existing brands doing what they can to change their formulas but then the new brands are starting afresh with only products that are naturally derived natural eco-friendly whatever it may be they're starting from the beginning with that going for them which i think is pretty epic Typology are one of those brands. I really love this brand. I did a whole blog post when I tried them for the first time. This is their tinted serum. Now love this. It's like a complexion product. It's like a, think of like a BB cream. If you don't want something that's got the coverage of a foundation, but you want something on your skin with the benefits of a serum, trust me, you need to check this out. Now this is a 99% naturally derived formula. It's got vitamin C in there that helps with radiance. It's also got aloe vera, vera? Vera for deep, long lasting hydration. It's silicone free it doesn't clog pores and it still gives you color coverage it's pretty much ticking all of those boxes um the great thing about typology their skincare is really stripped back literally like no extras in the formula like some of their products have literally five ingredients like when you look at the ingredients list now again as i said i've been using this for a while so i have come to trust the brand um, there are multiple shades available which i really like although the shade range isn't the biggest yet i'm assuming it will grow again with bb creams and cc creams they don't tend to have as much of a big range as foundation anyway so um definitely worth checking out typology if you're looking for some new like color cosmetics and skincare as well another really great natural makeup range is the tropic skincare range now you guys may remember like three years ago they launched their makeup collection in these really cute little pods now i was actually part of the launch 
I did a video and it was when I didn't really do YouTube, I did a whole video on it and I got like a world exclusive. It was amazing, I loved it and I loved being involved in helping the launch. I will link in the description box if you do wanna check out that video. The only thing that I will definitely say about that is it is old school lady rights, like the quality is totally different, so don't judge me on that. However, I do still love the palette and the pans. Obviously, the great thing about this system is everything can be moved around. So you can pick and buy what you want, you can create your own system, you can have eyeshadows, um, you can have blushes, bronzers, pretty much everything in there. They all switch around, the pans come out, they're really easy to move around the quality is great as with all tropic skincare the formulas are natural founded with lots of like fruits lots of naturally formed and naturally derived ingredients across all of the products um and obviously i really like the fact that this is reusable you don't have to buy new packaging every single time you buy a new product so i've actually been using this system since i started using it and launched with the brand three years ago so again i can recommend this one because it's lasted longevity it's like had that time frame with me and i still love it now so that's always something that makes me think oh if I'm using it a few years later, it must be good. Now, while I know that we've talked about brands that have launched with sustainability, with natural products in mind, there are also other brands who haven't done that. They've been established a little bit longer. Um, they've kind of been formed in the normal, older ways, but they still want to make sure that they are offering something that kind of ticks those boxes. So Catrice Cosmetics, a really great example, and there are so many examples. I just wanted to talk to you about these guys. Um, this is their Clean ID range, which is 84% natural ingredient formulas. Um, vegan friendly, love that about them, and they're completely budget friendly, so they're not gonna break the bank. So if you wanna be kind of putting some more natural products into your regime, but you just don't have a huge amount of money to spend on doing that, and you wanna keep the costs down overall, this is a great way of doing it. So let me just show you, this is the mineral bronzer. It's got SPF in there, a 15, SPF 15 in there. Really lovely color payoff on this one. Super, super friendly. Obviously 84% natural ingredients in that one lots of shades available. This lipstick as well, one of my favorites. This has 88% of natural ingredients in there. It's gluten-free, perfume-free, and vegan-friendly. So again, they're kind of trying to meet the consumer who wants a little bit more of an eco style um, or an eco basis in their product, should I say. They've also got like skincare products coming out or like skincare makeup. They've got the Prime and Fix spray. There's no alcohol, no silicones, no microplastic particles or mineral oil or parabens in there, which is great. And then obviously the Insta bright serum primer as well you literally can't go wrong with this like you could get a whole face for like 20 quid with this range it's fantastic and I really really like that and I just love it when brands are listening to the consumer when we're saying hey we need to see more from you we need to see you set the standard and they're obviously you know they're not just suddenly going to change their complete basis but they're going to make sure that they then add a range that incorporates what the consumer are telling them that they want. So guys, there we have it. Those are my really quick and easy eco-friendly switches that you can make in your beauty regime, the ones that I've been making. Hope that you have found this useful. Obviously, I'm not sat here preaching, like I have products that aren't eco-friendly, but like I said at the start, I am trying to make as many changes as I can that will easily slot into my lifestyle and to my regime, that will fit my budget, that will make me feel like I'm doing my bit, but obviously aren't like completely overhauling because I'm not there yet. I am a work in process 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 that sounded so american i meant process um so hopefully if like you guys are the same you know this can sometimes be a lot of guilt about not you know switching everything out we're on this process together and hopefully i'll do more videos like this and show you as i introduce a little bit more into my regime whether that's like skincare makeup whatever it may be so i hope that you're like excited to come on this journey with me and hopefully we can do it together please let me know in the comments if you will be joining me on this journey and if this is something you know we can chat about a little bit more let me know if any of the products in the video have inspired you to switch them out um, and just make some simple changes in your own regime all of the product links that you need for everything mentioned in this video will be in the description box so make sure you find them there you can also find that wild discount code so make sure you use that at the checkout save yourself a nice little 20 percent other than that guys thank you so much for watching today's video i really hope that you've enjoyed it and i will look forward to seeing you very very soon for my next video bye